Hello everybody, welcome back to the Albuquerque Vipers franchise on Madden 07. Can we do it? This is our last chance to avoid going 0 and 16. We're currently 0 and 15. We're going to be traveling to play the 7 and 8 Minnesota Vikings. Neither of these two teams are playoff bound, of course. Like I said, we're trying to get our first win in franchise history here. The Vikings trying to not have a losing record at the end of the year. We played the Washington Redskins last week and actually had a pretty good game. It got away from us in the second half there. But I do have a little bit of hope that maybe, just maybe, we can get our first win today. We're going to start off with the football. Cordell Stewart looking to throw going over the middle. And Avant has the reception there. A nice gain of six. It's a good way to start. Now Robinson to the right side picks up the first down. So a good run there. That moves the chains. Stewart's looking to pass going to the left there. And it's intercepted by Williams. Forcing that one there to Glenn Nash. Trying to get Glenn Nash over 1,000 yards this year. He's had a couple... He's had three really big games against the Bears, Raiders, and Redskins the past three weeks, but they're forcing it to him. And instead, throwing an interception. Brad Johnson floating this one out to the right side, caught at the 20. Fasten is running this one up the middle, picking up two yards there. It's going to be a play-action pass. No, Johnson going to the end zone, caught by Corin Robinson. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings, and they strike first here. Minter there, he bit on the play action just enough to let Robinson open. First down and 10 for Albuquerque. Stewart's looking to pass. Going to the right side, Johnny Morton with the catch. Now we're going to do a little play action of our own. Just rolling to his right and hit as he let that one go. Lamarcus Stern, he carries it up the middle and moves the chains. Now Cordell Stewart rolling to his left and right into a sack there. Second down and a long. Stewart's looking to pass. Going deep over the middle looking for Rodgers but incomplete. A lot of defenders there. Third down and very long. Taking a shot deep again. Triple man coverage. We're going to have to punt. So now the next Vikings drive, they're going to give it to Richardson, the fullback, who picks up 15 yards, a good run there, and just took one play, and they're in Vipers territory. Brad Johnson throwing this one to the right side, Robinson has the reception, catches it over Minter there. New set of downs, they're going to give it to Richardson again, another nice run up the middle, picking up about five or so yards. On second down, another play action pass going to the end zone again, and it's caught by the tight end there. Twice they've done play action, and both times it's gotten them into the end zone. They extend their lead to 14. And there, a Minnesota Vikings fan, he gets the game ball, but somebody else also wants the game ball there. But uh, he's just happy that his team's up by 14. Stewart looking to pass, going to the left side, and this one flies, flies out of bounds there. Throwing this to the left for Glenn Nash, he makes the catch. That's a nice gain of three. On third down, Stewart's rolling to his left, throwing across his body, looking for Rodgers, incomplete. Fourth down and seven, they're going to go for it, got nothing to lose. Stewart's rolling to his right, he's going to pick it up with his legs and move the chains. Robinson going up the middle, picking up about two or three yards. Stewart's looking to pass, going to the left side. Glenn Nash, a nice catch for him there. He's across the 50. Glenn Nash, one of our best playmakers we got on this team. He makes a big play there. Now Robinson going up the middle and not going to go anywhere there. He lost a yard. Stewart's rolling to his left. Going to dump this one off to Glenn Nash, but he overthrew him there. Looking to pass again, going to the right side. Rodgers has the reception. That moves the sticks. Once again, Stewart's looking to pass, rolling to his left now. He's going to take off and run. He picks up about eight yards there. Second down and short. Robinson to the right side, running and picking up the first down. Down to the 10-yard line. Stewart's looking to pass, rolling to his right, going to the end zone. He had two guys open in the corner there. Found 
Harris, but he caught it out of bounds. And now going to that same side again, Thomas with the interception, looking for Harris again. Stewart whiffs on the tackle. Thomas is across the 50, and nobody's going to catch him. 10 5 Pick six for Minnesota. Thomas jumping in front of that. We had a good drive going there, and it ends in a Vikings touchdown. Down 21 zip now, trying to get on the scoreboard across his body, looking for Harris. Can't hold on to it through the hit. Michael Robinson running and being denied there. Third down in 10, looking to convert. Stewart throwing this one to the right side. Martin had it in his hands, couldn't hold on to it. The Vikings get the football yet again in good field position. Brad Johnson throwing over the middle and off the mark there. On second down, a man goes in motion. They're going to give it to Fasten, and he's going to run it, pick up two yards. Third down and eight now. Johnson throwing this one to the right side. Knocked away there by the linebacker. A good play, and that forces Minnesota to go three and out. Play action pass. Going to the right, quadruple man coverage there. And lucky it just falls incomplete. Michael Robinson running this one to the right, and he'll pick up a few yards there. Third down and seven now. Stewart, he's going to use his legs and pick up the first down and more diving to the 40-yard line. Looking to pass again, immediately under pressure, and he can't get the throw away off. Sacked for a loss of 11. Play action and sacked back-to-back -back plays there. Cordell Stewart goes down. James there getting his third sack of the ball game already. So now third down and a mile. Just trying to get something there looking for Glenn Nash. But then Thomas jumps in front of it for his second interception on the game. Fresh set of downs now for the Vikings. Trying to set up the screen. But Albuquerque sniffs that one out. It's a loss of one. Johnson looking to pass again. Shaking off that sack. Throwing this one to the left side, which is caught by Taylor. A good play there, getting out of the sack. On third down, Fashion is going to carry it, and he's going to be short of the first down. But they're in field goal range for Ryan Longwell. The kick is up, and it is good. So down 24, trying to not get shut out in this first half here, trying to put together a two-minute drill. Cordell Stewart running, and he doesn't slide. He decides he wants to dive, get everything he can get, and he loses the football. Minnesota looking to capitalize on the turnover. Richardson getting another carry, and he'll pick up two yards there. On second down and eight, Fasten's going to run, but he's going to be stopped there in the backfield. Third down and eight now. Play action yet again. Going to the end zone, and he's got a man open. Taylor, another touchdown pass there. What a day Brad Johnson's been having, especially in the play action department. Three passing touchdowns on play action plays. Stewart throwing this one to the right side, looking for Nash incomplete. Second down and 10. Stewart, he's going to take off and run here. Diving, luckily he holds on to the football this time. Third down, rolling to his right. He finds Johnny Morton there. It's a play that's worked really well for us this year. One of the few plays that has worked consistently well for us. Avoiding the sack there. So now on second down, trying to fit it through that tight window and just can't quite get it in. Third down and 10. Stewart throwing this one to the left side. And it, Avant could have had it there, but he didn't. He wasn't able to bring that one in. Fourth down. They're going to go for it, and he can't get that pass off. So now the Vikings are in excellent field position with just 30 seconds left on the clock. Fasten running up the middle, and he picks up about five or six yards there. On second down, he's going to run this one again, break this one out to the left side across the 25-yard line. First down and 10 here. It's going to become first down and 15 after the false start penalty. So on first down and 15, Richardson gets the carry, and he is stopped immediately and no gain on the play. Fasten running this one to the right side, picks up a few yards there. They're going to attempt another field goal here. This one from 45 yards, and Longwell's kick is up and good. And we're going into halftime down big time. I really had hope that we could win this game, and I mean, technically we still could, but we, we've never put up 30 points in a game this year. So the chances of doing that in this 
uh, second half are slim to none. That first pass could have been intercepted. This second pass, though, wide open. He gets it across the 40, down to the 30-yard line. Another big play for Minnesota's offense. Johnson on the draw play there. He hands it off to Fass and going right up the middle. A good run there. Gets him into the red zone. New set of downs here. Fast and making a move. Bouncing off a tackler and gets about five yards there before getting uh, uh, tackled by the shoelaces there. He's going to run again, but this time he's not going anywhere. Third down and five. The fullback goes in motion. Johnson looking to pass under pressure. Finds Robinson. Brings it inside. Bounces it back outside and is in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota Vikings. First down and 10, play action, and down goes Cordell Stewart. You'd think we'd stop running play action by now, but no, we keep doing it. Setting up a screen for Robinson. He picks up a solid gain at about the 15-yard line now. Third down, going deep over the middle, looking for Nash, and it falls incomplete. Minnesota trying to extend their big lead they got. Now Taylor with another reception. And they're in Vipers territory again. They've spent most of their time in Vipers territory this game. That pass on first down falls incomplete. On second down, they're going to run an end around here with Robertson, but he's not going to be going anywhere there. Third down and 12. Johnson throwing this one to the left side, and he has Robinson there for the touchdown. Another big play for Minnesota and Albuquerque cannot really stop this offense can we get our offense going though that is the question the goal right now is basically to not get shut out this game is all but lost already third down and seven Stewart pump fake and throw this one up over the middle incomplete and they're gonna choose to punt play action pass you're going to the left side tipped in the hands of Robinson he's able to catch it and pick up the first now they're going to run this one up the middle. It picks up about seven yards there. On second down and three, fast and going up the middle and moving the chains with that carry. New set of downs here. They're going to fake handing it off to the fullback. Fast and gets the carry. He picks up three yards there. They're going to give it to him yet again. He's been the workhorse of this drive so far. It's going to be third down and inches now. You're going to give it to him again, and he picks up just enough for the first down. Once again, they're going to give it to him, this time on the draw, picking up about four yards there. Now they got their other running back in, Ikemadu. I don't even know how to pronounce that. All I know is that he is in the end zone after stiff-arming Starks. The disrespect on him there, he just can't bring him down. And they already have 50 points here, and we're still in the third quarter. Second down and 10. Stewart throwing this one away here. Nobody open. Third down. Stewart throwing this one to the right there. Incomplete. So now Minnesota has the football yet again. Fasten is going to run and pick up a handful of yards there. On second down and seven, we're going to run commit, but he gets it out to Robinson. Another stiff arm there, and he's going to be gone touchdown Minnesota Vikings Brady Robinson he got stiff armed there and then having trouble getting up looks like he might have hurt his elbow and Minnesota extends their lead and they get another sack on Cordell Stewart there second down and 17 Stewart throwing this one to the right side incomplete looking for Morton third down and long can't get that pass off Fourth down and long, going to go for it. Why not? Playing for a little bit of pride here. Gone deep and incomplete. This is now the third time this year that a team has put up over 60 points on us. We have by far broken the record for most points given up in a season. I think it's in the 800s or something. It's it's something insane like that. And we've only, we're only in the 100s of points scored. Third down and five. Johnson throwing this one over the middle. Robinson with the reception and in the end zone for his third receiving touchdown, I believe that is today. Another good play by this Minnesota team. And now we're just trying not to give up 70 as we're down 69 to zero. Johnny Morton, a nice catch there, picks up six yards. 
Stewart. He's rolling to his left. Throwing across his body looking for Morton, but tipped incomplete. Third down and four. Stewart going over the middle and a nice play there made by Rodgers. Just about three minutes left in the game. Dumping it off to Glenn Nash, but he's going to lose some yards there. Cordell Stewart rolling to his right. Trying to dump this one off to Morton, but he underthrew him. Third down and long, and this one's going to be intercepted. That's Darren Sharper with the pick across the 50-yard line. And Ryan Young appears to have injured his head making that tackle there, so that's not good for us. Fasten running up the middle. He'll pick up one yard. We get an update on Ryan Young. He has a mild concussion, so he's going to be out for the rest of the game. Second down and nine, a man going in motion there. Fasten getting the carry to the right side. He's in open space across the 30, across the 25, down at about the 21 yard line. He's getting it again to the right side, breaking off some tackles, picking up seven yards. Second down and three. He's going to get the carry again. This time he's not going anywhere though. Third down and four. Fashion's getting it again, and once again, he's going backwards. So Ryan Longwell coming out, trying to get the Vikings over 70. And indeed, they do as one of the worst seasons. Probably the worst season ever. Definitely the worst season ever for any team. Just has under a minute left to go. A nice reception there from Glenn Nash. He's been pretty quiet today, unfortunately. Cordell Stewart's rolling to his right. Throwing this one incomplete. Couldn't decide if he wanted to throw a run there. Sylvester with the reception. And that will move the chains. Cordell Stewart rolling to his right. Going deep. Overthrowing Johnny Morton. Stewart's again looking to pass. Going to the right side. And Harris with the reception across the 30 yard line. Under 20 seconds left to go now. Stewart throwing this one to the left side. Looking for Glenn Nash who couldn't keep both feet in bounds there. That would have been a big play. Stewart's got time in the pocket. Throwing this one deep. Looking for Nash yet again. Incomplete. Nine seconds left on the clock. Trying to get into the end zone here. Ended on a quote unquote high note. Going to the end zone. Broken up there. It's going to be fourth down with three seconds left. And we're just going to choose not to get shut out. We bring out Germatica. The kick is up and good. And the final score here, Minnesota 72, Albuquerque 3. Just a bad game all around. Decided to go for it on fourth down a lot because we didn't have a whole lot to lose really other than I guess going 0-16. I thought maybe that would help our chances if we went for it more often, but uh, no, instead we had one of our worst games of the season. That's kind of sad when this game is not definitively the worst game, maybe. Minnesota, they set a record for most points in a game with 72. Cordell Stewart, a bad day for him. Four interceptions, sacked five times. Brad Johnson, 315 yards and seven passing touchdowns, a big game for him. Stewart was our leading rusher with 50 yards. Robertson had 19 yards, and then Stewart had his one fumble. Glenn Nash had an okay game, not as good as his past three, though. Four receptions for 43 yards, and of course, no receiving touchdowns. Looking at sacks given up, our offensive line gave up three of the five. The other two were on Stewart. And then we don't really want to look at the defense because there's not a lot to talk about there. And then Grammatica made our only points today. So that's going to be it for this video. I'm going to have the postseason and season recap out soon, so be on the lookout for that. But until then, this has been Jeffrey. Goodbye.